project, you are going to cut your flower head away from the stem, but don't throw away the stem and leaf because you may can use it in another project. Then you're going to take the flower head apart. You may have to cut away the plastic areas. If so, be careful not to cut the flower petals. So you're going to cut this off and then pull this apart and you may have to cut this area if, if it's too hard. There are four parts to this flower head. However, what I did was, I put the stem back inside and what I'm going to do now is re-layer the flower. The stem will actually hold the petals together. Next, I'm going to add a small amount of hot glue in between the petals just to stabilize them. Remember this? Now I'm going to add a small amount of glue around this area and place this back on the reverse side just to hold the entire flower in place. Now that your flower is stabilized, place it to the side and repeat the process of tracing out the glass stone. Before you cut it, you want to write your sentiment onto the paper. Next, I'm going to cover my sentiment with the glossy accents and mount the glass stone onto it as we did in the process before. While the glossy accents is drying on the decorative glass stone, I'm going to trim the bud off of the back of the flower here so it can have a nice smooth and flush feel to it. And then I'm going to add hot glue gun to the center of the flower and place the decorative stone here. Here's the finished result. This will make an awesome addition on a nice stand or bring a keepsake value to a gift. What person wouldn't love a handmade gift like this? Notice I used the sentiment, I love being your son because this project is not limited to girls. Well, that's all for today. Thank you so much for joining in on this workshop. And if you have any questions, post your questions and comments below or inbox me at candia at ostitch.com.